അസ്നേഹം മതി തൻ ക്രൂശു മതി എനിക്ക് യേശു മതി തൻ ഹിതം മതി നിത്യ ജീവൻ മതി എനിക്ക് യേശു മതി അസ്നേഹം മതി തൻ ക്രൂശു മതി എനിക്ക് യേശു മതി തൻ ഹിതം മതി നിത്യ ജീവൻ മതി എനിക്ക് ഹലലൂയ 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 സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോഡ് ഹലലൂയ ഹലലൂയ സ്നേഹവാനായ ദൈവമേ സ്വർഗീയ നല്ല കർത്താവെ വി താങ്ക് യു വി പ്രൈസ് യു ലോഡ് ഫോർ ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ടൈം ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടെ തിരുസന്നിധിയിൽ കടന്നു വരുവാൻ കർത്താവ് ഈ കൊണ്ടും തണുപ്പിൻ്റെ സാഹചര്യം നിങ്ങളുടെ മധ്യത്തിലും ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ കടന്നു വന്ന് യേശു മതി എന്ന് കർത്താവെ പാടുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് തന്ന കൃപയ്ക്കായി സ്തോത്രം അല്പസമയം കഥാവ് ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിൽ നിന്റെ വചനവുമായിട്ട് ഇരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കൃപ ഞങ്ങളോട് കൂടെ ഇരിക്കണം ഇന്നത്തെ ആരാധന യോഗത്തിൽ അല്ലെ അനുഗ്രഹമാക്കി കർത്താവ് തീർക്കണം എല്ലാവരും കടന്നു വരുവാനുള്ള കൃപ പകരണം പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഈ സമയം നടക്കുന്ന ഞങ്ങളുടെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളുടെ സെൻട്രൽ സ്കൂളിനെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇന്ന് പകൽ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ട ഒരു ദിവസം കർത്താവ് ദാനം ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് സ്തോത്രം കൃപയിൽ പൊതി മഹത്വം എടുക്കും പ്രാർത്ഥന കേട്ടനായി സ്തോത്രം വേഷ്ണാവതി തന്നെ അമേ Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, let's start with our Bible study this morning. I want to continue from where we stopped uh, last uh, week. Um, so last week, we were going to stop here. We were going to stop here. Jesus, the deity of Jesus Christ. Yeshua and the Katrutam. His divinity and all our topic. We were going to stop here. So we looked at the word God, uh, God Theos used for Christ and also the word Christ. curious use for the christ that is the word called as lord this morning i want to start on a very important um thing um uh, let me get there okay so that's the topic is the the attributes possessed by jesus of deity ee oru karyam parayumbol this is not just relevant to jesus this will also help us to understand the attributes of god devathinte ആളത്വത്തെ മനസ്സിലാക്കുവാനും കൂടെ നമുക്ക് കഴിയുന്ന ഒരു വിഷയമാണ് ആസ് ദ ടൈം പെർമിറ്റ്സ് ഐ എം ഗോയിൻ ടു ടോക്ക് ടു യു സെവൻ തിങ്സ് സെവൻ ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട്സ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദ ആക്ഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ജീസസ് വിച്ച് പോയിൻസ് ടു ദ ഫാക്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഹി വാസ് ഗോഡ് യേശു കർത്താവ് ദൈവമായിരുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതിനെ പറ്റി തൻ്റെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ അപ്പോൾ ഇതിപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ ഇത് പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കണം Uh, these are the attributes which is no which we can say to uh, which can be related or which can be said as attributes of god or uh, deity apola devatham manasilakkana kaari appo idu valare important aanu so first thing i want to tell you is the attribute called as omnipotence omnipotence what does it mean the quality of having unlimited or very great power sarva shaktan ippa nammal paadi paattu endana എനിക്ക് എൻ്റെ ആശ്രയം യേശു അത്രേ സർവ ശക്തന അപ്പം നമ്മൾ ഈ പാട്ട് പാടുമ്പോൾ വെൻ വി സിങ് സോങ്സ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ടൈംസ് വി ജസ്റ്റ് സിങ് പക്ഷെ ഇതിനൊക്കെ അത് ഭയങ്കര അർത്ഥമുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ നമ്മളിന്ന് പാടി എന്താണ് എന്താണ് യേശു മതി സ്നേഹം മതി അപ്പോൾ അതിന് സർവശക്തന അവർ ഗാഡ് ഈസ് ഓംനി പോട്ടൻറ്റ് ഹീസ് ഓൾ പവർഫുൾ റൈറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ക്വാളിറ്റി സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ് ദ ക്വാളിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഹാവിങ് അൺലിമിറ്റഡ് ഓർ വെരി ഗ്രേറ്റ് പവർ അപ്പോൾ അത് യേശുവിൻ്റെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ നിന്ന് കാണിച്ച ചില വാക്യങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് വായിക്കാം ആ വാക്യങ്ങൾ അവിടെ ഡിസ്പ്ലേ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ ബിഫോർ ഐ സേ യു ക്യാൻ ഓപ്പൺ ദാറ്റ് അപ്പ് സോ റീഡ് മാത്യു ചാപ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റ് വേഴ്സസ് ട്വൻറ്റി സിക്സ് ആൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി സെവൻ മത്തായുടെ സുഷ്യം എട്ട് ഇരുപത്താറ് ഇരുപത്തേഴ് ഒന്ന് വായിച്ചു അപ്പം നമുക്കറിയാം യേശു പടകിൽ നിന്ന് കടലിനെയും കാറ്റിനെയും എന്ത് ചെയ്തു ശ്വാസ ശ്വാസിച്ചു ശാന്തമാക്കി സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൺഡ് ഇസ് ഹി സ്റ്റിൽ ദ സ്ട്രോം സോ വെൻ വെൻ പീപ്പിൾ സോ ഇറ്റ് ബേസിക്കലി വെൻ ദ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾ സോ ഇറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ദൈ സേ വാട്ട് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് മാൻ ഇസ് ദിസ് ഈവൻ ദ വിൻസ് ആൻഡ് ദ സി ഒബേ ഹിം വി സി ലോഡ് ഓഫ് മിറാക്കൽ വർക്കേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വേൾഡ് അത്ഭുതങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യുന്ന പലരെ പറ്റി നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് so there are many miracle workers miracles are not an exclusive claim of jesus adu kondana lot of times we say 
Miracles should not attract us to Jesus. Miracles should not be the only thing which should attract a person to Jesus. You know why? Because there are many other places where miracles happen. Moses was given what? Moses was given what? A staff or a rod. And uh, God taught him a trick. What did God teach him? Put it down and what will happen? Become a serpent. So he went with that trick. Not a trick, but it is. So he went to Pharaoh and he put it down. Then what happened? So Pharaoh said, that's nothing. That's easy. Why it is easy? Because I have magicians here who can do the same thing. So he called the magicians and they also did the same thing. But there was a difference, of course. He had to wait. He had to wait for what? He had to wait till the serpent, which came out of Moses' staff, devoured or swallowed all other snakes. Very rarely or I have not heard of anything where uh, the, the, the storms, the wind, natural. Uh, Even I wanted to tell them that, you know, minus 55 inches or 60 inches. So, we want to have. But, you understood what I'm trying to say, right? The other thing is mentioned, I don't want to read it. We all know that example where Jesus multiplied loaves and bread and fish. So, he, he did that, right? Right? That is a very key. Let's read verse 11. Read verse 11. John 2, 11. Johanna and Antina Pina don't know why. So he revealed his glory. Tanda Mahatma Mendi Edu, Yeshu Kartab, he Alpudan Gonda, Mendi Edu, Vadu Padithi, He revealed his glory. Abol Kartavu Chayi Na Alpudan Gal Endi Nevendi Anan Yodichal. It is to reveal his glory. Okay. So first thing is his his omnipotence. There are many other things where we can see that Jesus had this quality of unlimited and very great power that is vested in God, right? That is one thing, right? So let's go move on. The number two is eternity. What is eternity? Eternity is infinite or unending time. Some of you may be surprised to hear that when we go to eternity, we will not be following this 24-hour clock. Because timings are different. He is beyond time frames. So when you really look at it, God put this earth on a 24-hour clock. So let's say, okay, I'm going to give you some, some things to think. Just imagine for a minute that we find another planet which revolves around something like sun. And let's say it takes 48 hours to go around. Sun takes 24 hours. Oh, sorry, Earth takes 24 hours. So how long will be the days there? Let's say everything else is same. Two days. Two days. Two days. One day will be 48 hours. So what I'm trying to say is, the timing which we are following is very much conditioned. On that. I'm not trying to say that God will change it. or anything. That is very much conditioned to the environment in which we are. Living. But our God, our Anadigal, he is eternal. Read John 5:58. It says that before Abraham was, I was. Read that. 8:58. Before Abraham was born, I am. 
Yes, and we all know the verses from John 1, 1. What did John, John and Sosha, what did John and Sosha say? Adil Devam. Sorry, I'm going to say that. In the beginning was the, Adil Vajanam was there, no? Vajanam, that Vajanam is the one that we said, Yeshu, he was in Adil, he was in the beginning. We have already known that, I don't want to go again back to that, but what it says is, he was there from the beginning. So he is eternal. Revelation 22 verse 13 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. What is Alpha? The beginning and the end. So he is there. So he is eternal. His eternal attributes from eternity. So omnipotence and the second thing is eternity. Number three is omniscience. What does it mean? The state of knowing everything. Ellam ariyunnavan. Avan ellam ariyunnu. There are a lot of uh, things about this. Mark 2.8. Read. If you get it, read. Then so that I can quickly move forward with that. He knew God's, God, Jesus knew people's thoughts from afar. Like, read that. Ah. So Jesus knew what they were thinking in their heart. I don't know what you are thinking in your heart right now. I don't know. Ninggalu ninggalu manusia lippa entah jenis ikan ni ni ke? Hari tu lah. Pasti Yesu ni ada. Hariya, le. Abang yang berani entah cale. Manusia ni orang anggil. Manusia ni awan dia manusia poli jenis ikan ni tu balap poli. Control iya, baca tu boh umbol. Yesu ni ne. Nama dia ellyan cinda galu niru bana galu apa ni? Nama ai hari inu. He knows everything. Right? So. Then another thing is, uh, John 1.48 says that he saw Nathaniel under the fig tree. Even before Nathaniel, I don't want to read that. Nathaniel, Yeshu, Nadika, Verindhanu, Dumbay, Yeshu, Nathaniel, Endi, Adirinu. Kandirinu. John 6.64, read that. That is very important. 6.64 in the Vaichi. Arande, Arvatnale. Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. Who knows this? So Jesus knew it. So that is why we say that before a word is on my mouth, Lord, you know us from afar. In Psalms, uh, you know, we, we read that. Jesus knows us way before. Yeshu Namala Abam Abana the Yeshu Namada Elang Arina but he knew people who would believe, who would betray. Jesus knew it. So I don't want you to get confused here because that is very critical. His all knowing doesn't mean that he predetermines it. So some other day I will tackle it if you are confusion about that. I Nartam Nala ni Jayam Bona Gairing Land even the church which they were Arinund. He knows it. Yeah, he can change it and you can also change it. So, so what I mean to say is, uh, he knew it. And then the other thing is, he knows all. John 2.25 says he knew all the people. You don't want to read that. John 16.30, I think it was the confession of, uh, so let's read. It says that God, Jesus knows all things. And when we come to chapter 21, we, we encounter Jesus tackling Peter. Uh, backsliding, but throws in the pin mat at the issue. Um, you know, confronting or you shade it on the line. Pina no pono, I just sixteen thirty. Read that. So, you know everything. We believe that you came from God. But I want to a little bit take you to that uh, John's uh, encounter in 21.17. It says that Peter, sorry, in, uh, in John 21, like Peter's encounter, not John's encounter. So, Shishyamma Reshu Marichini Shesham Patro Sana Vare Elam Velichon Tangoattu Mojadu. Meem Pidikya Ne? Namakka Poga. Ile? Ava, Ene Muna Vakya Nuvaya Che? 21.3? Hmm. Hmm. See, Peter was a leader from the beginning. Right? 
So now he is telling, yeah, me and Bidikyan, go up, I'll remember the other one. That is the quality of a leader. Like, a leader, I'll remember the other one, I'll remember the other one. So what happened is he 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 took the initiative, but because it's very natural. Can I ask you on that? Now, all the things that are required, no. Like, if I'm food in the car, it's very important. No, Thamasam very important. No, all the all the wedding on that. No, invitation to big big houses. Patrosam, he remember the car very clearly. You know, they could not never imagine that they will go to the houses where Jesus actually went. Zacchaeus. Big big places, but because Jesus was there, there everything was good. Now Jesus is gone; he died and he rose again. So now Peter says, "Ini pun, nama kita kaya, nak kena hendiri, na. Pun, nama kita walaupun orang ni, ini kerthawan yang kita pergi cuci dengan ini iri kita ulu. Nama kita, nama kita kaya, hendiri, na. Nak kena. Nama kita, nama kita kaya, nak kiri lengan. Agak pada korang pergi. Okay. So Peter said, "Let's go." But Jesus comes. Jesus confronts him and then read 17. What does Peter say? Hmm. He said to him, yes. the third time, Simon son of John, hmm. do thou this. Hmm. Peter looked at him, the first time, and said to him, the third time, I will do thou this. Hmm. And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I have doubted. So, Peter is saying, Jesus, you know everything. Apa yang dia artikan dengan ramo? The Yesus ini attributes ini seperti perayaan betulnya Dewa itu attribute. Nampol orang kaya ini cium bala allah. Kartawa nampol eh? Alangkah le kartawa ini presence sila allah kartawa nampol eh? Hari ini ada. Alah alah, jangan perlahan lebar kita alah, nak ke? Kanan tu ribu orang kanan tu. Abang, yang baru ni tu, if something is happening, if you are there, you will only know it. But with Jesus, He knows even when when we think that He is not there, He knows it. Okay, so that is omniscient. He knows everything from the start to the end. He knows. The fourth thing I want to say is omnipresence. What do you mean by omnipresence? The presence of God everywhere at the same. Time. So in this, we have to be careful a little bit from an earthly standpoint. From an earthly ministry standpoint, Jesus was not present physically everywhere. Okay, I will tell you that. When Jesus was at Capernaum, he was not in Nazareth physically. When Jesus was at Nazareth, he was not in Galilee. You know, what, you, you hope I, uh, I hope you understand. I hope you understand. Yesus kereta kana bilai air na pola van kapan nuh mililah. Na pada poy pol where apam physically a oru time because that's a physical attribute. Adu kuda de Yesu inda kurcup parai na de his and from his future state. What did Jesus say in Matthew eighteen twenty? Wherever two or three gather in my name, I will be there. So Jesus is there. Ane arthon na Innu pagal, namlu udah prarti cara ni, namlu parai Yesu bina nama tulan, jangal kudi bandiri kena nu parayum bol. Yesu bina sanidya, ini bade, unda His presence is here. Apa orang kari jangan parai, ninggalu personal prayer, ini bolu Yesu bina sanidya ninggalu udah kudi. Karena kartawa ini dua, tiga peran orang itu community perspective parnya anang gilum. Ninggal reka setel prarti kimi bol, ninggalu pidaw kelkuman oka kartawa utaram parni. Apa ninggalu udah kudi bina prarti ni ke kudi bandiri, Yesu bina nama tulan kudi bandiri kimi bol, abade abade sanidya, unda His presence is coming here. This morning, if you had a family prayer, he was there. Today morning, he is here. His presence is here. So he, his presence. And Matthew 28, 20 says, I am with you till the end of the Loga Vasana Tola Nyan Ninglodu Kude Irikim. About Kathavindi or promise, I will be there. I want a Sanitya Munda. He will be there. He is going to be there. So that is a fourth thing, Omni Presence. The next thing is his divine sovereignty. What do you mean by sovereignty? It means that God is a supreme authority and all things are under his control. And this is an authority which is possessed by God alone. Devatinu matram, Devatinu kail matram ullla oru attribute ani thada, the divine sovereign, he is a sovereign God. Right? He is a sovereign God. What does it mean? Mark chapter 2, 5 to 7, what read that? Marko sinu sushan dandin indi anji madhi leedu ullla vakki ngal vahi chhi? Hmm. 
Ah. Yes. Yes. So God alone can forgive sins and Jesus made the claim that your sins are forgiven. Ninda paavam shemichiri kinnu. Apa paavam shemikivan adigaram ullava nottyo naalu maathru la daara na deiva mana. Apa deiva tinde samattham ulla alengil karthava iri kinnu apa deiva mai iri kinnu. Dewa itu ni matra paman semikian berdalam. Apa Yesus warnanya parah ini? Anak your son sir. Apa lawer ada ni? Anak question je je. Dewi ber questioning. How can this man say that he can forgive the sins? Only God can do it. So that's a claim. And when you read Matthew chapter five, you will again and again encounter a verse which says uh, 22, 28, 32, 34, 35. I say to you, I say to you, I say to you. Let's read one of the one of the examples probably. Matthew chapter five, verse twenty-two, twenty-eight, thirty-two. Pada ini mati le perwaja gan mar, abadi perwaji ke antuk itu kari mbarai mula abadi pernah itu dust says the Lord, dewi um parai ini, mosa paranya pol, mosa ini paranya dewi betin dekal pana, dewi um parai ini, dewi um parai ini, itu pelak kari ngelu paranya pol, beri Yesus paranya, anjir diri terendah itu aichi. I said to you, ah, 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 abam Yesus. Anger ne peti orang kari mbadi pikir bol, Yesus beri itu, saya berani nu, I say to you, malah tak wakunu aje, saya ninggal odo, saya no ninggal odo berani nu, abangki, semua wakinggal odo, abad semua Yesus orang, orang kalpana bola berani nu kari ngalan, he is bringing a commandment there basically, and he is saying, this is what is going to happen, ini adalah sambawi kiam bodo, ini adalah sambawi kiam, saya ninggal odo berani ya, so he he had that divine Sovereignty, he had authority, he had control. John 3.36 is very important. Read that. John, you have an association with the Lord. Why? 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 John 3.36. Hmm. So what is the condition for eternal life? Believing in the Son, so what does it mean? He has authority over eternal future state of everyone. Sagaladei nitya bhaviye kyo ladigara arnakai lunda. Apal Yeshu will vishosi chal nitya jeevanum. Yeshu will vishosi kya ad Yeshu na rejecti idal nitya nashavum. Adinu ladigara arnakai lunda ayirnu Yeshu vinde kai lunda. He had, he has that authority. So that is what John 3, 36, authority over eternal future state of everyone. Is with Jesus. That is what he was sovereign. Avan paramadhigaram ullavan ayirinnu. Okay. The next thing is immortality. What is immortality? It is the ability to live forever eternal life. The inability to die. We are mortal beings. What does that mean? We will die. Namal allah verim? Marikim. Immortality, immortality is associated with God. And we are going to receive an immortal state after resurrection. Punaritanathana Shesham, or immortal at all state, Namakam Gittu. A Vagdatha Vengani Ani Yodichal, Eshu in a Marichavar in the Edinal picture, Kuridilaganathil Vikim, Eshu in a Marichavar in the Edinal picture, the Bola than Namalayim. Adalah, nama lalu orang memilih Yesus untuk hidup secara kerana orang ini jiwik ini baru kum, satu penurutan yang munda penurutan yang Yesus unda penurutan itu orang equate ya diri kita, apabila nama kita tarjeh ulla, alinggilis syarira manod cerdun boi itu, kalan doni kembal, satu ruba ambaram, uyer terdengar, maricu orang anggil uyer terdengar, jiwa orang sesi kita orang anggil, itu orang satu ruba ambaram nama kita, orang apabila orang kita nama kita cuma ada jiwik ini orang tidak. Edu nayar tuh, ini syarikat itu transformasi yang sambo bikin sahaja deh orang nelayan itu lah, nama kita jiwi kita. Adu kau ni ada, pandai galat ya, bahkan mar, ini mana perdi, ini kau ni cillya. Mar kita abang ni, ini apa tu, beli tu, tuh kerja ini tu, lah, tuh orang ni, ini ni modi beri pikiran, orang tu beli ni dah alpiri itu, orang ini sampai orang sampai boleh lakukan orang ni, edu nayar tuh, kagalan doh ni cillya, ini ni ruh bandar orang, allah, ini ni kacchi boleh, ini tu mana mandi lot, pogan orang lah. Ya, tera modi beri pikiran, ini tu mandi lot tu. Kerjaau beran pertiak sorang jiwik itu orang yang kelantan sampai ikim. Yang nampaknya kuli kita sebi ada nak kena nampaknya. Abang, amal baru ni nampak. 
So, whatever you do, this is going to be changed. So, this is eternity. So, that is why what does it says is it is an eternal state. John 2 19 says, Destroy the temple and in three days I will raise it up. So, what does it mean? Jesus was talking about his physical body and that happened. Okay, let's read John 10 verses 17 and 18. That will make it very clear. John 10 verses 17 and 18. You ah. He says, I lay down my life. I only to take it up again. So Jesus knew what willingly he was laying down his life to take it back. Or take it up again. And read ahead. No one, from me. Hmm. no one is actually taking it from me. But I am laying it down. On my own. See these are very important scripture claims about Jesus. Okay. Namada Vishwasatende Adistanam in the Varana the Yeshu Analo. Apoli Yeshu in a Hindu and Anna Namada Vishwasikina the Noladin Day. Shall I get up a Yeshu and Dana? Yeshu in a very crucial Tarachu Kunu and Nola the Sheriana. But she ended up the other than Sambuch and Ajal Avan Tande Tanatane El Pichu would care in the crucial Marnathan Vendi. Milipelagan and Dama the other when we read Philippians chapter two, you know, he humbled himself, he gave up, you know, Avan Tane crucial El Pichu. He laid his himself and he was about to. So he knew it. He willingly did it. Okay. Read Hebrews 7.16. And uh, somebody else opened 1 Timothy 6.16. I want to finish this, this, uh, this segment today. So I have one more thing to share. But Patana walking with the Hebrews 7.16. Yeah. Mm. So indestructible life. He had an indestructible life. So devil could not destroy it. He laid us down. Yeshu marikim bol avan thande prana ne elpi chordu marikia irno. Avan thende first Timothy six sixteen says God alone has immortality. Abol Yeshu ne jivute pete nokum bol he has the ability to live forever. Avan emna ne ekum jivi kinnu. Okay, let's get to the final one. He is worthy to be worshipped. Only God is worthy to be worshipped. Let's read Revelation nineteen ten. Vele padu usam patam ende patam vakyo no aichi. And Philippians 2. Yes. Yes. And he said to you, you must not give up. Mm. I have a devil servant to you mm. and your brothers who go to the temple of Jesus to worship mm. What did God for the temple of Jesus Christ do for you? Mm. So, read Revelation 5, 12 to 13. Yes. Okay, worthy is the lamp. Worthy is the lamp who is worthy to receive honor and glory. Everything is worthy. So, Jesus was worthy to be worshipped or he is worthy to be worshipped. He is not was, he is. So, seven things I told you and I want to conclude. The attributes which Jesus possessed which say, which shows that he was God. Number one, omnipotence. Number two, eternal. He is eternal. Eternity. Number three, he is omniscience. He knows everything. Number four is omnipresence. The presence of God everywhere at the same time. Number five, divine sovereignty. God is the supreme authority. And he has everything under his control. 
Six is immort, immort, immortality, that he is going to be, he is living forever. He was in the beginning, he will be there forever. And finally, he is the only one who is worthy to be worshipped. Let's close our eyes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everyone, everybody to worship. This morning we have come into the presence of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us, let us pray in the presence of the Lord that this morning the Lord is going to bless us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we all are praying, uh, let, us, let us surrender ourselves into the hands of the Lord. And uh, as uh, we all are praying, I would request uh, Brother Prem to lead us in prayer as we are going to start our service this morning. Thank you, Jesus.